Okay, so this is my first attempt ever at building a robot. Uh, this is its brain so far. Uh, run it off of a 9 volt battery. Goes through a rectifier so you cannot reverse voltage the system. Inline voltage regulator to make sure that a consistent voltage gets to the actual brains of the unit. Uh, standard stuff, power switch, power light, reset button, uh, little crystal here to run it at 20 megahertz in case I don't want to use the internal 8 megahertz crystal. Um, I'm using Atmel's AT Mega 328. Pretty powerful little unit, uh, 32k of programming uh, space as well as uh, it's capable of running 20 million instructions a second if I'm using the external crystal. Um, don't know how well you can see it here. Uh, there's pin connectors with three rows. Uh, you have uh, the outside row being uh, the negative or your ground. Uh, the middle row of both sides is your positive or voltage supply. And the closest row, each slot connects to a pin on the microcontroller. Uh, so, like here, I have an LED. So, you could plug an indicator light or something onto this. Uh, sensors, pretty much anything you want uh, to be just plugged in. So very plug-and-play designed robot. Uh, have my programming port so I can program it directly from the computer so I don't have to pull the chip, I just have to power up the board. Um, the motor driver here, uh, the Texas Instrument 1 amp uh, motor driver, has jumpers so I can disconnect it from the power supply. So if I'm using something other than motors or just want to be running sensors, I can disconnect it, save power, and also keep any voltage fluctuations away from the microcontroller. Um, have it so it has jumper pins that are not jumper pins, connectors that I can hook up to the ports uh, so that it can control um, any kind of motor. So I have a little unit here that I'm eventually going to hook to some wheels so it can drive around and terrorize my cat. I uh, don't know if you can see, there's another row of connectors uh, that the motor runs off of. Let's plug that in there. Um, the logic unit of the motor driver runs off of 9 volt supply, and the motors currently drive off of 4 uh, AA batteries. Eventually going to upgrade it to a couple of lithium ion cells, but they're expensive and figured for a beginning project I can live with a few double A's to start. So let's power up the unit. Let's see, power lights on. Um, currently running code that is the Hello World of microcontrollers. Basically it just turns all the ports on and off continually. Uh, just saying, hey, I'm working, I'm alive. Uh, so since that's running, power supplied to the motor driver. Motors are connected. So Basically, I can show you what would happen if a pin is driven low. Drive the motor one way, and then if the other pin drives low, spin it the other way. So hopefully in a few days, uh, once I get some infrared sensors hooked up, I will be the bane of my cat's existence. Alright, and that is my first attempt at a robot.